So currently, I am using the AKG D5, which is a handheld dynamic microphone. It is a very bright handheld dynamic microphone, and that is what I have been speaking into, running into the Focusrite 18i 22nd Gen 24-bit 48 kilohertz with my gain set nearly at 100%. That's what you've been listening to. Now I am on the Audio-Technica AT2010, which is a handheld condenser mic. This costs, I think, $100, $110. Because I couldn't find the Rode M2, I figured, hey, this one's a similar price. Let's compare the AKG D5 to this. So here is how this is sounding. Much brighter much more natural sounding to my ears compared to the specific microphone you're using. I dropped my gain to 4 o'clock from around 5 o'clock. Still a quiet microphone, especially for a condenser. This is going to have a higher self noise compared to a large diaphragm condenser as well. But there you go. This is what a handheld condenser sounds like compared to a handheld dynamic. Now I am on the SE Electronics SE7. This costs $100, $120, somewhere around there. This is a typical small diaphragm condenser. I am the same distance. I was able to drop my gain to about 2 o'clock, so the sensitivity on this is significantly higher than the handheld mics that are designed to be used on stage. As far as the tonal differences, this is the most natural sounding to me. It doesn't have that same boost that you hear on the handheld condenser or the handheld dynamic because it's not designed to be used amongst a large mix. Both the AT2010 and the AKG D5 are meant to be used in live situations. Sound reinforcement, you have a lot of instrumentation going on, so they designed the frequency response to work well in that situation. With an SDC, this is designed typically to be used in a studio, and it's meant to sound a bit flatter. So if you're going for that raw, just flat, neutral sound, this is going to be the route to go. However, I do think it picks up a bit more room tone. So if you're looking for a microphone solely based on the tone and you want a natural tone, the SEV7 or a small diaphragm condenser would probably be my pick. But if you're also including the rejection characteristics, how much room tone, how much background noise, how much reverb the microphone rejects, I found the SDC in this situation to be slightly worse compared to the microphones that are designed to be used in less ideal situations. I hope that was helpful in your decision between handheld dynamic, handheld condenser, and small diaphragm condenser. Maybe what you could do is invest a little bit of your budget into some sound panels or some sound blankets, and you could lay those blankets down or those towels down on your desk to reduce the amount of reflections off of that hard surface, and that would yield a better result. Now let me go ahead and give you the advice that nobody searching for gear wants to hear. You do not need to buy more equipment. The audio that you're getting out of whatever microphone you're using, in this specific case the AKG D5, that's more than sufficient. Unless you are doing voiceover for some massive multinational corporation and it is a huge advertising budget, a dynamic microphone will be fine. A handheld condenser will be fine. An SDC will be fine. An LDC will be fine. So unless you're making money with it, you do not need to upgrade. Unless you have very picky clients, chances are you do not need to upgrade. Try giving it a go with the microphone that you have. See how you enjoy it. See what kind of feedback you get from the client that you're recording for. Or if you're recording for yourself and doing videos online, see what kind of feedback you get from the audience. Do they think, oh my god, this sounds so bad, and leave you a bunch of mean comments? Then perhaps upgrade. But if you use the gear that you have and nobody says a darn thing, I think you'll find you didn't need to spend the money.
there you go. Hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully that gave you some idea which route to go. Best of luck on your decision on whether to go for a dynamic, handheld condenser, or SDC.